Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Playing With Myself. In today's video I'm going to be taking a look at a game called Zenith. Now, if I had to describe Zenith in a, a single sentence I'd probably say it's a, uh, a student-made skating game with a, a cel-shaded art style and a pretty good sense of humor, but I feel like that doesn't really do it justice. In fact, it feels woefully inadequate in describing this game. So instead of talking about it, I'm going to show it to you guys here in a second. Um, I actually want to show you my favorite part, maybe, of this whole section. Back. So your little robot guy tells you back every time you hit back, which is pretty cool. So we start a new game. And right off the bat, just to get it out of the way, this game obviously has some uh, takes some inspiration from Jet Set Radio, from the visual style to the skating mechanic. Very reminiscent. So, one of the coolest things about this game is you have this little phone here. If I can get it to open here, press start. Just if I paid attention to the messages there, and it has all these options in here, just little things like uh, you can connect to Twitter, kind of like Sword and Sorcerer EP, which is pretty cool. You can actually sign in and stuff like that. I'm not gonna do that, but you can. It has a, a magazines here. They're just covers, but it's kind of nice that the developers went to. Uh, some extra links to give this kind of a uh, a neat feel to it, I guess. I don't know. It's just kind of nice. But, uh, I'm not making a whole lot of sense for that. I apologize. So we'll go back and uh, we'll check our messages. We get text messages here from our boss wearing, wondering where we are. What else is new? We have uh, a loan approved for $180 billion, which is pretty significant. I'm going to exit this. It takes some use to getting the controls here, because I'm moving with the right stick, but to select any, any of the stuff, I have to click click in the stick. Which is a little frustrating, but I suppose it works. We have a radar here, it tells us where things are. But one of the things that caught me off guard with this game is, we're going to approach this guy here. And uh, we're going to play a game with them that opens up on our phone. I'm going to attack with the right stick there. We're going to fight him. We're going to kick his ass. Yeah, yeah we did. Took some damage there, something. Right, exit that. But uh, something that really caught me off guard with this game the first time I played it is I ran into this guy. Basically, F him. So you've got mail received there. Get out of that. And they'll send us a text message that says, Warning. No one told me a big mech was going to be rolling around and knocking people over. Slanted face. Which is pretty great. And every time I played this game a few times, I played through this area. And uh, every time I've done that, it's been a different message, which is pretty cool. So let's actually get into the game. I'm tapping A to move faster, B is to jump. One thing that uh, I really appreciate about this game is that the controls are very responsive. And the jumping feels floaty, but I feel like that's good because it gives you a greater, de a greater degree of control on where you're going. So we're going to move around. I'm going to see if I can get up here on the first go. Sometimes I botch it. Get up here, come on, come on, but up here there's a sign that says there's something awesome up here. Well, it says down here, it's you, you're awesome. Well, thank you, game. So we'll keep moving, see if we can get to a, a mission real quick, and uh, we'll probably just do one, I think, that'll end the video. But this is a, a completely student made game, which is pretty great. It's by a developer called Arcane Kids, I believe, from some crazy institute of technology or studio or something that I can't pronounce the name of for the life of me. But uh, I'll put a link into the uh, description for a download of this game. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but it is free. Just pretty cool. We can grind on these rails. I think that gives us extra speed in the, uh, in the top left corner. Whoa! Going a little too fast. Top left corner is our speed, and by wall riding we'll actually increase our speed a lot. Easily make. Oh, I guess we can't easily make that jump. That was a mistake on my part. I think I actually have to wall right against that, so we'll be doing that. And another another thing that I really like about this game is its sense of speed. It, it gives you a real good job of uh, giving you a sense of speed and momentum, or or maybe a lack of momentum. And this is where the game really opens up, which is great because. At the outset, you think, "Oh, this is this seems pretty linear," and it's like the developers are like, "Haha, no, nah, motherfucker." This is a this is an open world game, sort of. 
So we have an arrow at the top that's telling us where to go. Our, our zine boss is asking us if we got laws. We're gonna go find him, I think, here in a second. And if I hold down the left trigger, I'll actually start move like I'll move towards the ground, I suppose. It'll it'll increase my gravity, I guess you could say. So that I'm more grounded and it helps me get over these dunes faster. Instead of just flying through the air like that. See so if we're moving down. So we'll keep going, we'll keep moving, we'll just book across these sand dunes. Going pretty fast. If I if I'm taking that as a miles per hour counter, I would say we're going about 130 miles an hour. Just pretty crazy on skates. We're almost there. We're gonna do this mission here because I know how to do this mission. It'll make for a more interesting gameplay than me just wandering around. So our boss says, "How to jet out?" I accidentally dropped a few pages meant for the new zine. The wind had its way with them, but they should be all be nearby. Grab them for me, please. So we'll do that because we are a minimum wage paid uh, magazine collector, I suppose. At least that's the backstory I'm making up. Trying to exist in this neo-apocalypse, possibly America or maybe Japan, I'm not really sure. So, we're collecting these little things here. And this is basically a series of platforming events. And it's actually a surprising amount of fun, given that you can pick up so much speed that it's easy to, uh, to lose control, which isn't really a problem, because, as I'm showing you here, there's a rewind mechanic in the game, which I had failed to mention so far, because I hadn't really needed it. But you can rewind up to a certain point. I think we'll hit that point pretty soon. There we go. And then you can just start with any button, and you're moving again. It's a really nifty mechanic, because it eliminates the, uh, basically the possibility for air, so if I fall down there, I don't have to, like, make my way all the way back up to the top by skating. I can just go right back to where I was before. Well, let's see if we can make that. We definitely can. I have to say, I know I said it looks a little bit like Jet Set Radio, but it does have a somewhat different art style. It's definitely more blocky and, uh, I want to say vector, but I, I think that's probably the wrong word. But it, it definitely has a unique look to it, for sure. Oh, I'll back up there on accident. Boss wants to know if we finish picking up the zines. It's a little bit pushy, but that's okay. It's probably won't wait for a while. So now we have to deliver the zines to people. We're going to do that here. And that'll be the end of the mission. And these missions take about, I want to say like 5 to 10 minutes to complete. They're not that long. At least the ones that I've played. So you can hit that. Those are just collectibles. Going pretty fast. Might have been a mistake to get here on the sand dunes, but I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, so definitely getting a really good sense of speed here. And uh, I, I kind of want to see this game being developed into something more. As it stands, I haven't played all of it. I don't know how long it is. But uh, this it feels more or less like a somewhat finished product. I don't know how much more the developers want to add to this game, but... If this game, say, came out on Steam for like five bucks, it would probably probably be worth the money. And the, the city there looks very cool, very blocky art style, kind of flat colors and sharp edges. Very cool looking. I like it a lot. So this is where the uh, the second platforming section kind of starts. We get up there where that that ramp is. We gotta start delivering these zines to people. But yeah, I have to say I'm very impressed with this game. Much like Perspective, it's a uh, it was said to to be in the um, in that little disclaimer in the beginning that's a proof of concept. But in a lot of ways it does feel like a finished game. I think this is a pretty neat experience. Which I know I've about iterated about like 30 times, but only because I'm trying to convince you. So in what's becoming typical Robo Suplex fashion, I have showered just heaps of praise on this game. We didn't get quite enough through there, so we're going to go back down and see if we can wall write some of these. Just showering heaps of praise on this game. Can it do no wrong? Well, no. There's a few things I don't like about the game. One, I think the your main character model is kind of dumb. He's got these big robot arms and legs, which is cool, but he looks kind of like a uh, a toddler in a, uh, a cowboy hat and a... I don't know. He just doesn't look very, very interesting or neat, I suppose. In comparison to the rest of the design of this game, which does look very cool. So, not a huge fan of that. The music, I think, is okay. 
And I think I only think that because I keep comparing it in my head to Jet Set Radio's music, which, uh, in all honesty, most games would uh, come up short if you did that. That game had a pretty good soundtrack. This song, actually, though, I do like a lot. But I think uh, the music definitely fits the game, and it, it doesn't feel stylistically inappropriate or anything. I just... Maybe it's just not my style of music. So it's nothing I would go out of my way to listen to. But uh, I don't know if it's kind of gauche or not, or, or whatever the word you might want to use would be, to criticize a game that's completely free and is only a, a proof of concept, but I feel like just because the game is free doesn't mean there's, there's nothing wrong with it, if that makes sense. But on the whole, I do like this game quite a bit, as I have stated ad nauseum at this point. So I think we're almost done with our run here. We gotta get down there. See if I can make this jump. Oh god, left trigger. And that's uh, that's one of those moments where you really appreciate the fact that the game gives you such a, a degree of control over your character. So I can, I can just straight up, I basically just sunk right there, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, the city looks very nice. It's, it has a very minimalist design behind it, I suppose, but there's something really to be said about that. These little posters and stuff, they kind of add a little, uh, a unique feel to the game. Or to the world. I think this guy will be our last magazine to deliver. Gonna do that right about now. So now we have to go to the moon! Oh no, I have to rewind. But my boss says, well crap. I grossly overestimated the amount of work I needed to be done before I hired you. Face. The last thing I need is for you to go to the moon for some reason. I can't remember. That would be rad. Sorry this escalated so quickly, which is a pretty great uh, piece of dialogue there. Kind of shows off the game's humor, which I think is generally pretty good. It doesn't take itself seriously or at all. At all. Which I appreciate. So, that was Zenith pretty cool. I highly recommend you check it out. I'm going to put a link in the description bar down there, so no skin off your back if you do. It's completely free. No money out of your wallet or bank account. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.